you're gonna ride in the back like we're chauffeuring you around? Yep. My registration's probably a year and a half expired, so do not Perfect. get pulled. Pumpkins and potatoes. Yes. Going to the grocery store. Yep. pretty much, I mean, it's done, and we're cold crashing now, and we're not bottling, so if there's a little bit of sugar, we're not worried about that. I'm thinking we peel them, juice them, and add them to the keg to kind of try and get that fresh cucumber flavor. I think we're going to do split the batch into two, two and a half gallon kegs, and then I think on the second keg, we will come back, add some more cucumber to that one, and kind of see if letting the cucumber age with the colch for a couple of weeks adds to is. it, or yeah. if we're gonna get a fresher flavor by just adding the cucumber juice, like and then carbonating the it immediately. Yeah, <clears throat> and also just juicing in general. I didn't see a whole lot of information on it. We're not gonna boil or anything. It's, they're soaking in star sand. The juicer has been soaking in star sand. Let's keep it up. <clears throat> This is the Kolsch. Yeast has dropped out really nicely. Been cold crashing for a couple days. Super clear. Take a little final gravity rating. It says it's in the beer category. Okay. That's we good. Got beer. <laughs> we got beer. It's a good start. Is, but I would call that like right at 10 ish so it looks like from here so that's pretty good it's got that nice colch 
flavor. Yeah, it's actually really good. Yeah, I, don't, I almost don't want to dump cucumber in it. We're doing it. <clears throat> That's gonna be great. Man, you know what? Can we do this? Can we? I think you can uh, get up off I that chair. Get off your chair. Your seconds, Mr. King of the Castle. All right, so you're the halfway. Oh, that was. I gotta see the. Seems like there was some part of a master plan that uh, <laughs> I played right into. Yeah. Let's see, totally. Let's see if we ever did it. Oh, sweet, sweet Jesus! Oh my God. So much, so many bubbles. All right, I'm gonna purge, purge this real quick. Um, so this guy, we're not gonna add any cucumber today, and then we're gonna add it right before we put it on gas to kind of see which is gonna bring a better flavor profile, and then we'll save some that we don't do anything to. We'd like a bunch of star sand in there. Right on the floor. <laughs> Classic Evan. Yeah, what are you gonna do? Just... I was gonna suggest that you dump it over on the futon. But I was gonna it. open my laptop up. <laughs> yeah. We didn't specify, so next, you got to choose. <laughs> next, uh, next brew day, I'll, I'll just hold the camera. Perfect. <laughs> got it, man. Nailed it. I need to we try. Just it. point out that when we rack stuff into our kegs, etc., we leave. Quite, I mean, but this is one, you, since you cold crashed this, you should, we yeah, got quite a bit of liquid out of there on <laughs> this one. But if you don't cold crash, You're first of all, you should more. cold crash. If you have the capability. Yeah, if you have the capability. But if you don't, leave yeast and anything else that's in the, on all the that, bottom of the fermenter. All that. And if it goes in your keg, it'll probably come out your first couple pours because it'll settle down in your kegerator. But if you're bottling it, it's going to be kind of <clears throat> yeasty and gross in a couple bottles. But yeah, I think I factor in, you know, in some beers, almost like a half gallon loss in, in the fermenter. You could save this, wash it, reuse it, because yeast adds up. It's like six bucks a pack. Yeah, so um, yeah. if you're interested in learning about uh, juicing cucumbers and adding it to beer, I am as well. We'll see what happens. We'll see. <laughs> Should we high five? I feel like it's not complete. We okay. High five. Oh, and it's, and it's birthday today. It is. 22. He's 22 years old. Yeah. Just the beard makes him look older, but he's really 22. The problem is you can't back it up because there's a there's this other oh seat behind God. it that runs into it. It's a uh, it's European. Right. Uh, Europeans are small. Yeah.